Hey, how are you guys? How is it going? Hi everyone, coffee. How are you doing, man? Yeah, sorry for the um, late reply, but I was just making sure that I was streaming already. This is my first time in a while streaming in English, right? So I've been actually, I've just ended up my um, Spanish live streaming. So, I mean, I'm so happy to be here, guys, uh, just for you to know that I really like everything uh, regarding to the English channel. I'm trying to um, keep it up, right, in terms of news and stuff. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult because I have to take a lot of time for my Spanish channel to uh, keep up with that and cover all the news and all that. But I think that I'm going to be more time right here and... Plus, I have a bunch of other YouTube channels that you might not know, but I have them. And I have to um, spend a bunch of time on them, working hard on them. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing, man. That's my life. It's very, very busy. So, coffee. Hi, everyone. I'm worried about tomorrow's game. Man, I'm not fine. You should be fine already, man. I mean, it's Real Madrid. We always win. No, I mean, seriously. Um, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is a very tight game. I mean, tomorrow is not an easy one. And we all know to uh, Manchester City, everybody knows Pep Guardiola. He really prepares consciously every single game. He actually never, I mean, although he denies that he's been watching to Real Madrid, he probably has watched more hours of Real Madrid games than me, than myself. So you can imagine, right? He really wants to be prepared for the game tomorrow. And I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a very tough one. And uh, I think it's going to be exciting, though. Buddy, tomorrow's game will going to be fine. Next week is the problem. Well, next week. Yeah, and on tomorrow, tomorrow as well. It's going to be tight, man. It's going to be really tight. Yeah. For sure. For sure. I was just checking my uh, list of content that I have here, the things I want to talk about. And um, so, are you okay, guys, if I start off by talking a little bit the, uh, well... The most important is the players that the Manchester City players that are already off the game because apparently they're not traveling to Madrid. They're not traveling to Madrid. They are staying in Manchester. And I think it's because Guardiola thinks it's better for him to save these guys and keep them healthy, right? Keep them in good shape instead of uh, getting them into the airplane and coming into Madrid. I think it's going to be something really risky. I think that um, Guardiola doesn't want to take any risk. And although he knows it's a very, very important game, he also knows, though, that every single thing will rely upon the next game, not this one. You know what I'm saying? I don't think any single person in this world will really think that tomorrow will be the end or every single thing will be decided tomorrow. I don't think so. I mean, Ramadi to me is a little bit more well prepared for this game uh, since we haven't had any game over the last seven days, which is great. But in this kind of games, man, you never know. You never know because Manchester City is a very tough game it's a very tough one, and of course, I am pretty sure that he, um, Pep Guardiola, will have something for us. I'm pretty sure of that. I am pretty sure of that. So, well, before we get started with Real Madrid, let me let me say something about the other eliminatory PSG against FC Barcelona. As you know, another very very good one. It's going to happen on Wednesday, and I think that PSG is a little bit ahead of FC Barcelona in terms of 
chances for them to qualify. So my opinion is, yeah, PSG will qualify and will eliminate to FC Barcelona, but it's going to be difficult as well. So, although I think that um, what I am more interested in regarding to that game is basically if anything might happen regarding to Kylian Mbappe. As you know, if PSG is eliminated, my opinion is he will be announcing something, okay? He will be announcing something. However, I've been talking to my um, collaborator, uh, Tomas Gonzalez Martin, is a very, very uh, veteran journalist uh, that covers to Real Madrid. And in his opinion, he's not going to say anything. I've been talking to him like in the, li in the last li um, live streaming. He's been with us. And uh, he thinks he's not going to say anything. I don't know. I might be wrong. And uh, he might be right. So um, what can happen? Honestly, I don't know. But I want to share with you guys this, uh, this video of my channel talking to him. Uh, so you guys see who I am collaborating with. Here. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen with you guys so you see that this is me and Tomas Gonzalez Martin, very famous journalist in Spain. And here we go. So this is, or he is, Tomas Gonzalez Martin, like I said very famous journalist in Spain and he is a journalist that has been covering Real Madrid for over the last 45 plus, 45 plus years yeah so it's not like another one who just was passing by and he said okay I'm gonna say something about Real Madrid this guy really knows what what's going on here yeah he really knows that and I know him very well. Well, in this uh, video, in this clip that you're watching right now, uh, Tomas Gonzalez Martin says that he doesn't think Kylian Mbappe will say anything if if PSG is eliminated on Wednesday. Okay, he's not. He he doesn't think at all he's gonna say that because that'd be a kind of dishonor for the guy before the end of the season. Once you are getting or once you you got eliminated. If you jump out of the public and say, hey, I'm qu I quit, it's going to be taken like a dishonor for all the people, for all the fans of uh, PSG. So that's why he thinks he's not going to say anything. And that will be actually a kind of back backfire for him. So I agree with him. And I don't think Ilian Mbappe, although he has said something about it, I don't think he really will say something about that okay so i'm not quite sure about it and i prefer to wait a little bit before to claim anything but i don't think it's gonna happen what can happen though is psg trying to uh break out this kind of silent war they are fighting against the mbappe's family as you know um al really didn't take very well the fact or the news that he had from Kylian Mbappe saying, okay, this summer I quit. I quit, I go to Real Madrid. He, I mean, they actually know that he is going to play for Real Madrid, that's for sure. And um, yeah, so I don't think that they took it really, really honestly and really good. So that's why uh, they are trying to, not slowing down, but um, trying to... Uh, I would say saying derogatory things about him in his back and uh, not talking to him straight like in the face and, uh, and hiding stuff but man I mean we all know to PSG we all know them and we actually think we actually know that is not 
the kind of team you want to mess with, right? Because they are really, really um, tough. They are really, really rough. They are really, really, um, you know, like reckless, merciless. Uh, I don't know. But these guys, man, you better never mess with them. You better never mess with them because they are going to take, you know, they're going to take revenge. They're going to take advantage they are going to take you know something to be paid <laughs> you know what i'm saying they won't they won't feel okay with that and they will try to make you or they will they will let you know right that you did something wrong to them and they're not okay with that that is what i think yeah that is what i think so yeah but that's my perception about that let's see let's see what happens So if you guys want to ask something about the Real Madrid Manchester City tomorrow, I will be more than happy to ask you about that. Coffee Hope Mbappe scored a hat trick against Barcelona and announced he is joining Madrid. That would be great. He will. I'm pretty sure he will. I'm pretty sure he will do that. Yeah. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I think it's going to happen at some point. 